Only on Fox, we visit a ghost town in Wickenburg where the memories of the Arizona gold rush, and yes, we had one, are alive and well. Vulture City was once a bustling mining town, and Fox 10 photojournalists Joe Tillman and Brian Kay show us how the owners are keeping its rich history alive. Settle down, settle down. Welcome to Vulture City. These picture of the Wild West, this was it. I need you to head down to the sheriff's office and turn in your gun. <laughs> well, let me tell you here, law dog, we don't turn our guns into nobody. Hi, my name is Stefan Cerruti, operations manager here at Vulture City. <laughs> Vulture City is established in 1863. It is the most profitable gold mine to date for the state of Arizona. About 5,000 people lived here at any given time, men, women, and children. It got shut down due to the war effort in World War II. It just became a ghost town. restored it back as close to the original as possible, use as much of the same material as we could. We do uh, do tours. You will walk from the start to the end, go th in every building, see everything as the way it was, as close to the way it was. A lot of the same uh, furniture, like ice boxes, stoves, all that stuff still here. This is probably one of the last places left that you can go to where and you can get as close and personal with the stuff and be, actually be able to touch the stuff. Well, a lot of uh, artifacts from the 1880s, mining world, ore cars, ore buckets, just all kinds of different things you find here. The assay building is where they tested the dirt to find out if they're going to keep mining there or not. And then eventually they started making their gold bars and even silver bars and storing it in the vault, which was also in that building. Ultra mine is not nugget gold, it's really fine gold. Without blacksmithing, there would be no gold mining. We have a, a shop there with a, a coal forge. We, we've got propane forges as well. And actually, you can come here, you could take a class, and by the end of class, you're walking away with a, a piece of jewelry or a knife. The brothel is uh, on the south side of town. Most of the girls that came here came with their man and husband or whatnot, and he ended up dead. And she was stuck out here in the middle of nowhere and she had to do what she had to do to survive, and that's pretty much how it went. I'm not saying that all girls were like that, but I was a big number of them were. The way I see it is a whole lot more of us, just one of you. It was the Wild West. You had uh, greed, you had murder, you had all kinds of stuff going on. You still like your odds, or do you want to comply? And let's head down to the saloon and have a drink. Yeah, well, I ain't never complied with anything in my life, and I ain't gonna start now. The hanging tree, it says 18 men were hung from that tree, but there's only one documented hanging. And what makes it documented is uh, there was a birth certificate and a death certificate. Well, most people didn't have a birth certificate with them or had it at all back then, so that's why they, didn't do they couldn't document it. The who's who of the ghost hunting industry has been here, and they all had some pretty uh, interesting stuff. I had a, an experience at the assay building. <laughs> I was standing in the, the kitchen area of the assay building, and I caught this guy in my peripheral. He was there for like a split second, then he was gone. Well, everybody says they hear voices and stuff like that, which you do, you, you can hear voices, but you can never understand what they're saying, whether it's even voices or not, just the wind blowing or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's definitely, definitely a some uh, stuff going on here. If you want some place to come and check out in Arizona, Vulture City is the place to go. Aim me over your gun. It's one of the coolest places you'll see. It's old, full of history, ghosts. It's uh, gold panning. Here. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I never liked these guys anyhow. The Wild West with a little twist all in one. 
For more on Vulture City, you can visit our website, fox10phoenix.com, and the Wickenburg Marshals that you just saw there. Apparently, they're not done fighting just yet. Scan the QR code to watch them duke it out even more. You can see the full fight on our YouTube page.